What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. Um, it is Tuesday at 6pm uh, and it is the last, is it the last? I think it's the last foot birthday SBC day, isn't it? Um, I don't think we've got anything new. I mean, there's a lot here, as you can see, going through this sort of stuff. There was a whole bunch here. Um, let's have a look at milestones. No new milestones. Obviously, no season progress. No new event, which is sad. Now, the Saint Just SBC was there. Uh, we saw him. Um, Jeremiah Saint Just. He looks very good. 88 pace. 85 dribbling. 86 defending. 84 physical. 5-star skill moves. And he is very good. He is very good. And the reason why he's very good is because he's got 91 sprint speed, 84 acceleration. So 99 sprint speed, 94 acceleration at center back. He's Dutch. So he links to Kleiber, which is super valuable. Um, he's got very good passing for a center back. He's got very good dribbling for a center back. 90 agility will make him feel super, super quick on the ball and off the ball. And then more importantly, in terms of the actual defensive stats... 89 interceptions and 87 defensive awareness as base stats are very good. His stand tackle also is very good. Uh, jumping and stamina, nice. Strength, good aggression, maybe a little bit of work. I probably would go with an anchor looking at his in-game stats there. Now, the downside seems to be that he is three segments. And it is, once again, EA playing on people's want to enjoy this game, right? They've finally put out a super overpowered meta center back and they're going to make you play pay through the nose what do i think he should be i mean he's going to be a great card right i think he should be an 84 85 86 at max like if they want to be reasonable and say hey it's foot birthday this is about you know the birthday celebrations of foot an 83 and 84 and an 85 would be ideal let's see what he's actually going to be an 83 an 84 and an 86 so close but not bad not as bad as i thought it was going to be an 86 with uh no inform and 60 chemistry an 84 with a bundesliga a team of the week and 70 chemistry and an 83 with no inform and 75 chemistry I, I tell you what that's actually extremely reasonably priced that's not bad at all um let's have a look at what else we may or may not have here for today before we go and have a look at the in-game stats uh, birthday wish the group three daily challenge three is already there so we should have the daily challenge four which is there um obviously champions league is here again today so we might get something for ucl catanaccio here or rare election players pack four leagues same league maximum eight one club maximum five champions league rare minimum one 75 rated 85 chemistry really nice and easy to put together for that one um and that gives you a rare election players pack and in, in fact I, I used to build these on stream and I, I see some people asking for me to like give solutions to these as well because of places like footbin i kind of stopped building the solutions in but because of what's happened to footbin where people not always but somewhat use it now as a tool to spike prices of specific cards quite often the footbin solutions are now considerably bad value because it might say it's 8k but you'll go and look at whatever left mid they've got on the left mid alone will be like 6k, right? So uh, maybe we can start putting these solutions back in. This will be nice and very nice and easy. What you first want to do is just go and get a league where there's lots and lots of commons that are super low rated, right? So Premier League, I would, I would always go for, right? Loads and loads of low rated cards. Sometimes they're expensive. I mean, you could go for uh, one of the minor leagues. You could go for the Dutch league or something like that. But the Premier League is, is always good. So we've got ourselves there. Um, obviously, in terms of a 75 rated squad, nice and easy done. Now we're just going to go for, what do we need? Leagues minimum four. I mean, again, really, really, really easy, right? So we'll take away that. We can even go to silver players. And we're going to put in this guy here. And over on the right-hand side, we're going to finalize. Um, we're going to finalize uh, the four leagues done because we just need two strikers now. Now we do need 85 chemistry. So what we can go for here is if we go for our UCL common, which is what I needed, right? I think it was a UCL, sorry, UCL rare. Um, and let's see what UCL rares we've got. We've got Morega from Porto. 
We've got the rating done. So what we're going to do is go for another Porto striker. So we're just going to go for, sorry, another Liga Nos striker. So we're going to move our way into the Liga Nos. Uh, and let's pop Vazte in there. And we're a little bit low on chemistry. We've got the rating. So all we'll do now is we'll go in and get ourselves another uh, Liga Nos player right there. That obviously doesn't give us the league. So we're going to get a Portuguese left mid that's not from the Liga Nos. Um, and it's 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 just nice and easy. And of course, if we just got some strong links um, instead. Oh, there. Oh, he's perfect. Greek league. If we just got some strong links. Oh, what are the chances that my right mid is also from the Greek league? Um, you just want to go for a silver right mid. Go for a common as well. Now, of course, the more untradables that you can use here, the better, right? Um, so let's go to Spain too. Boom, we'll pop him in. Um, obviously, if you've got some strong links in here, you, you'd be able to like improve the uh, the chemistry a bit more anyway. Uh, if we went for like an English left CDM from Palace or something like that, we'd have the chemistry. But super, super nice and easy for that rare election players pack. Very cheap. You don't need to watch the footbin solutions. It, it's a really, really easy one. And more often than not, you guys probably didn't even need any help. Now, it seems like that is all there is. Did they put in new league SBCs today? No, they didn't. Did they put in new icon SBCs today? No, they didn't. What are EA doing with this game this week? Like, honestly, what's the point? There's no new... Oh, Mega Party. Or 15 goals in the playground. Assist four goals using midfielders into the playground. So they've put a new objective there called the playground. Does that mean we did get new milestones? No. So there is Mega Party. Kick around in the playground and show. Let's see what this is. The playground. Player quality maximum silver. So it's essentially silver stars, isn't it? The classic match is there for 14 days. Um, and you can have bronzes in it as well. What's good about this, I suppose, is there's loads of quality silvers for you to use. You can work towards some of the other silver content in the game, which is pretty cool. There's a reason to use those Samba stars and stuff. But we have got the Mega Party SBC. Or sorry, Objective. Um, where is the uh, the other one that has the rare Mega Pack? Silver Beast as well. Obviously, you can't do those together, which is a bit sad. But yeah, Mega Party is pretty cool. Um, not bad at all. No new event. No new SBCs. Let's go and have a look then, guys, at St. Juice's price and um, and the in-game stats and such. New players, just him. New content. Yeah, we've got the that SBC we did, the St. Juice SBC. Wow. I won't lie. I know... Sometimes my opinions are polarizing in this game, right? I am shocked that people hate this SBC. I don't know why. It's a good card. It fits the meta of the game extremely well. Okay, his in-game stats might not be the absolute best to look at, but 99 sprint speed, 94 acceleration, brilliant defensive stats... Good physical stats, great passing for a centre back, great dribbling for a centre back, and from the Bundesliga, it's it's like people like. Did you not know he was coming? What, I don't understand why people aren't happy with this. From the Bundesliga, there are so many special cards to link him to, which is great. But also from the Netherlands, we have already got players like that Ian Robin, like Kleber, like the Hontelaar, uh, whatever, like. Like the pie who was relatively cheap, that Leroy Fur at 78k was a banging price and links to St. Juice. St. Graven with the strong link to him. Um, that Kleber card, 85k, what a bargain that was. Um, if you did the Malin card, Van Bergen obviously links to him as well. Like, I think I I I honestly I'm quite surprised that people hate that that much. Now, how much is he actually coming in at? He's at 400 k right now. I, th I feel like he'll come down a bit. I don't feel like an 86-rated squad is 250k. Let's have a look at some of the icon SBCs. And, of course, it's an 86-rated squad with no inform. Um, so an 86-rated squad with an inform is 260. 
maybe yeah maybe it come down like 10k so we're, we're probably looking at like 370 maybe 380 what so here's what's interesting i did say that it's foot birthday and 83 and 84 and 85 would have been more reasonable is 400k unreasonable is 400k unreasonable I, like i don't know let's ignore maldini and such what if smalling 600k inform varan 630 foot birthday tomori 730k let's compare him to him i feel like this is probably a, a fair comparison One extra pace, way more dribbling, two less defending, two less physical, way better passing, way better shooting. I don't know. I don't know how people are getting upset with this. Like personally, um, let's have a look at another one of the different centre backs. Uh, preferably like, like Alaba's live card, not fast enough. Tap sober is interesting. Again, tradable. Not quite as fast, way better defending, well, four better defending, better physical, way less dribbling and less passing. 460k. C compared to some of the other cards here, guys. I mean, he's he's on a par with Inform Joe Gomez. He's better than Joe Gomez, and Joe Gomez is 380k. Uh, Wambasaka's SBC, who has way less pace, less passing, less dribbling, and less defending, and less physical, less everything, was 400k way back then and people seem to love this one i am genuinely a little bit surprised that this is getting such negative feedback i, I don't think let's let's not make any mistake right i don't think that this is insane value but i also don't think it's bad value you know it's that sort of thing where look if you can fit him into your squad he's going to be a beast upgrade for you you can get way better chem on your team. He's a centre-back rather than a full-back. He, he links to so many of the good players in the game. So many Bundesliga players that he can link to. Um, and 400k, 350k or so, with some packs back and how easy it is to craft items right now, I, I, I genuinely don't believe this is terrible value. I think based on some of the other players that we've just looked at here, Tomori and Tapsoba specifically, uh, and even uh, Chris Smalling as well, um, I think that if St. Juiced was tradable, I am very confident he would be more expensive than this SBC is. And so because of that, I genuinely don't think it's bad value. So that is my opinion, guys. If you enjoyed it, of course, be sure to like, rate, and comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.